Hey, don't judge me. When you learn to wash a dish, I'll get off the bottle. Morning. Man, I did not sleep at all last night. No, no, I do not need to hear about your amazing sex life over my bagel. I'm Ben. I have a girlfriend now. I stayed up all night doing it. Okay, first of all, baby. Second of all, Riley slept at her place. And third of all, I do not sound like that. So I had a baby in my room all night that wasn't mine for no reason whatsoever? Yeah, thanks, bro. I've just had a lot on my mind. Hey, what do you think about Danny and Riley? Well, he sucks at food like a Hoover, and she can be a bit bossy, but for the most part, I'm a fan. No, no, I mean, do you think there's something going on between them? Um, be be between Riley and Danny? No, no man. It's, it's not like he's been in love with her his whole life and then finally realized he'd never have her, so he's running away to Paris with Georgie. <laughs> Because, uh, uh, that would be, it, that would be crazy. <laughs> but you didn't see what happened on the roof. There was, there was hugs and tears and what came very close to a kiss. Dude, they're best friends, okay? Just think how you'd react if I told you I was moving. Um, I don't think I'd kiss you. You don't know that. Look, if you're so worried, why don't you just go talk to her? Oh, yeah, right. Hey, Riley, I'm your crazy, jealous boyfriend. Do you have any feelings for my brother? See, see, you do sound like that. That's right. Yeah? I don't care what you say, okay? There's definitely something weird going on around here. Morning, boys! Bonnie's babysitting barn is open for business. You birth them, we nurse them. Have your baby cared for by a licensed professional, licensed petting. Nope. Nothing weird going on here. It's amazing how the unexpected can take your life and change direction. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, you're all here. <laughs> oh, shoot, I forgot how many I started out with. Mom, we have a strict no baby policy in here. You know, unless they show up in the doormat with my DNA and a note. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Just trying to earn a little extra cash. And I can only sell my blood twice a month. Or quit drinking. <laughs> and that's not gonna happen. <laughs> hey, can I borrow a diaper? Hey, whatever happened to your big realty job? It's fine. It's fine. It's great. You know, I, I just haven't sold quite as many apartments as I thought I would have. Are you gonna use all this baby food? <laughs> you know, plus, now that Danny is selfishly running away to pursue his dreams, it is really putting a damper on my memorabilia business. Oh, you mean you're secretly selling his hockey stuff behind his back business? Are you accusing me of stealing? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that business. Bonjour, salut, mon amour. Tu es très adorable. I suppose Danny taught you how to say that? No, actually, my 10th grade French teacher did, which is a whole other story. But I did bring some croissants to put him in the mood. For love? No, for Paris. I'm so jealous. Of uh, Georgie? Again, no. But has anybody seen the real Ben? This one's broken. Oh, good. You're all here. Pretty cool, huh? Georgie bought it for me before she left. How do I look? Like the reason French people hate us. Ooh la la, what do we have here? Another hidden love note from Mon girlfriend. <laughs> that means girlfriend. I don't know what Mon means. But she's been secretly leaving them all over the place. Well, I think it's romantic. She's a lucky girl, I'm Georgie. Yeah, she sure is. I mean, who wouldn't fall in love with Danny Wheeler? Can you think of anyone else who has? Anyone at all? Okay, seriously, has anyone seen Ben? Kind of scruffy, so things like, hey, babe, what's up? Why does everyone think I sound like that? Ben, Ben, can I, can I talk to you for a second? Out here, where nobody can hear us about that problem that we need to talk about in private? What problem? Ew, Ben, it took Riley two decades to get you, and it's going to take her two days to dump you. She loves you. She wants to be with you. God knows, I have no idea why, but she does. You know what's missing from this pep talk? The pep. Hey, you're right. I'm an idiot. There's obviously nothing going on between Riley and Danny. So, I just wanted to apologize for the other night on the roof. Kind of caught me by surprise. No need to apologize. I shouldn't have sprung it on you like that. Oh, no, 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 no. It had just been a really emotional day. The big I love Ben announcement. And you really do, right? Oh, my God, 
guess, so much. <laughs> and you really loved Archie, huh? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> so much. I think we need to shut down the baby's in barn. There was some kind of tinkle chain reaction in there. Okay, if Ben asks about his bedspread, you haven't seen it. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, hey, talk. You're just in time to witness the magic that is Ben Wheeler, world's most amazing boyfriend. And you're about to witness the magic that is Tucker Dobbs, world's least interested roommate. <laughs> I took a page from Georgie's playbook and slipped a little love note into Riley's purse. Her heart is going to melt like a grilled cheese sandwich. But not the kind we serve here, because they're always cold in the middle. <laughs> Sucks, right? <laughs> oh, here we go, people. Oh, damn it! Tucker, go make her open her purse. If I knew how to make women open things, do you think I'd be having lunch here right now? I can't believe I'm getting on a plane tonight after that charity game. And tomorrow morning, I'll be in gay Paris. I hope they're all cool and I'm straight. <laughs> Honey, you'll be fine. Well, until you do leave, let's just spend as much quality time together as we can. You know, keep those lines of communication open. Oh, Mom. Or we could just keep the chit-chat to a minimum, and you could sign these for those orphans I told you about. <laughs> so, Riley. <laughs> Riles. Rye, rye. <laughs> hey, so I was wondering if I could have a piece of gum from your purse. Sorry, I just had the last piece. Can I borrow your lip balm? I'm out. A pen? No. Nope. Resonant? Sorry. A lighter? What do you need a lighter? How about a quarter? Oh. <laughs> so this thing's just pretty much for show, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, hey, is that, is that Ben over there trying to get your attention? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, 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 so you see a black man holding your purse and suddenly he's doing something. How could she not have found that note yet? Because she didn't have bolt cutters to get into that purse. <laughs> Tucker, I poured my heart out in that note. It contains my most intimate thoughts and feelings. Wow. That must have been a really long note. Nah, it's just a couple of sentences. Hello? It's me. It's about time. Danny, we need to talk. I got your note. Danny. Good question. <laughs> Did you sign it? <laughs> We should probably let them know that we're out here. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. I want to hear every word. No, no, you're not. Gonna... Something wrong? We need to talk about the note. Okay. But you go first, because I don't know what we're talking about. Wait, you, you didn't... Yes, no, 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 no. You guys didn't even know that we were out there. <laughs> hey, Riley. What's up, baby? I don't want to stop guys' conversation. You guys were talking about a note? Yes, uh, right. I was talking about the note that Danny sent me yesterday on my phone, which I think is sometimes called a text. <laughs> yes, right, exactly. Danny sent me a text note. Uh, so do you still need that ride to the airport? Um, actually, I think I'm just going to catch a cab. Thanks, though. Well, that's good, because... I don't have a car, so, all right, that's, that's taken care of. Good, I gotta go. I'm so, bye. <sighs> See? Now, don't you feel silly for overreacting? <laughs> I'm gonna go check the mail. I already got the mail. <laughs> right. what the hell was that? Well, how could you possibly think that note was from Daniel? Well, I kind of heard a voicemail last year where he kind of said he had feelings for me, so I kind of thought the note was from him trying to tell me before he left for Paris. <laughs> So, so you know how Danny feels about you? Yeah, kind of. Wait, so, so you know how Danny feels about me? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Wait, but you love Ben. Yes, oh my god, yes. What is wrong with me? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> but here's a better one, right? How did you get both of those guys to fall in love with you? I mean, no offense, I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> Ma'am, Bonnie's memorabilia barn is dedicated to customer service. No, I am so sorry that you haven't received your jersey yet. You know what? Let me transfer you to my supervisor, Mr. Click. Hey, Mom. Yeah, honey. Do you think Danny and Riley are in love with each other? <laughs> no, what? Danny and Riley? No, no, honey. There's, there's no Danny.
Danny and Riley. You know, they're just best friends. I mean, you know, it's not like he's loved her his entire life and then finally realized he can't have her, so he's running away to Paris with Georgie. <laughs> because that would be crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, could you do me a favor and sleep in Danny's room while he's gone? My new website, watchdannywillersleep.com, is really taking off. Yeah, sure. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. People pay $19.99 a month to watch Danny sleep. If you use the coupon code BONBON, you get 10% off. Can we please focus on your other son for a moment? Yeah, I don't have another son. Me, Mom. Yes. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I am looking at you. I'm focused. What, 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 what? I'm almost sure there's something going on between them, and I'm going to prove it. I wrote a little love note to Danny, signed Riley's name, and slipped it into his coat. It's genius. Yeah, I'm not sure you're using the word genius correctly. Mom, don't you get it? He's going to find the note and go straight to Riley. Ah! Yeah, I'm not sure you're using the word ah correctly. Then he'll tell her he found the note. She'll say, what note? He'll say, the note you left in my pocket. She'll say, I didn't leave a note in your pocket. Then she's going to grab the note and read it. And now for the big finale? And she'll realize I wrote it and... She'll hate me for not trusting her. And she'll tell me because I'm a jealous idiot and I'll lose her forever. Oh, good. For a second there, I thought you weren't going to get it. <laughs> Voicemail again. George and I just keep missing each other. Of course, it is tomorrow in Paris. So maybe my call hasn't gotten there yet. Oh, I gotta get to the rink. So, I guess this is it. For now, you're not getting rid of me that easily. Bye, Danny. Bye. Oh, hey, dude, I'm about to hop on the plane. Yeah, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Tell me I did not just walk in on a secret rendezvous. You can't keep putting me in the middle like this. Tell me everything. Whoa, it is just a goodbye dinner between friends. And I can't believe I lied to Ben. You know, a relationship should be built on honesty. So you're going to tell him the truth? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> oh, Tina forgot his jacket. Oh, I should totally wear this while he's gone. <laughs> this thing is a lady magnet. Yeah, Tuck. <laughs> it's the jacket. <laughs> Another love note from Georgie. <laughs> Dear Danny, I just want you to know that you're the one that I really want. Love, Riley. Love, Riley? Oh, hey, forgot my jacket. What's that? Nothing. Uh, I'm really gonna miss you. person falls in love with one brother and then pretends that she doesn't love the other brother and then takes the first brother's heart and just crushes it and then takes the brother that she didn't love and hold up i got lost give me that oh i knew it ben wrote this look look i don't want little parts over my eyes anymore <laughs> he is just the lowest of the low ben is going to pay for this Ooh. oh now i see it <laughs> You're kind of hot when you're mad. Shut up, Tucker. Yeah, girl, keep it coming. Where are you going? No day. Okay, perfect. Watch Emma and keep an eye out while I look for that note. Ooh. I think Bonnie's memorabilia bar needs to branch out to full team sale. Oh, shit. Al, you know what? Just check his bag. Hey. What the hell you think you're doing? Um, I was, um, I was just, uh... Oh, hi, Bonnie. How are you? <laughs> hey, Jim. How's the sleep apnea? Better. What's with the, uh... Oh, um, oh, oh, my God, what's that guy doing? Hey, you. What are you doing? It's okay, I'm Danny Wheeler's brother. Tell him, Mom. Never seen him before in my life. <laughs> Please. Everybody knows I'm Danny's sister. <laughs> Don't give me that look. I'm still the best role model he got, kid. <laughs> This is humbling. Really? Caught this jerk going through your stuff. Says he's your brother. Yeah, that's my brother. Sorry. Wait, your sister didn't recognize you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Why are you going through my stuff? Could you maybe put some clothes on first, dude? No. I'm actually showering. It's easier to do naked. Hey, Wheeler, do not think that you can hide from me in here. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Riley. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this 
Mrs. Wheeler? What are you doing? You don't get it. They're after me. <laughs> Who's after you? The creditors. All I have left to sell is my hair and my virtue. Oh, well, you could probably get something for your hair. <laughs> Try to explain it, Ben. Oh, no. No one ever know what it said. It is a love note, Danny, from me to you. The Ben Forge to see how you'd react. What? I didn't know what else to do. I saw the two of you on the roof the other night. And what did you see? Two friends who were upset that they were going to be apart? Two friends who were worried about each other's future? Oh, yeah, that's one perspective. <laughs> It just seems like you have feelings for each other. And you're right, we do. We do? Oh, God. Because that's what it means to have a best friend. Right. Yeah, Ben. And if you would think for one second that I would go behind your back and steal a woman who has only loved you her entire life, then you don't know me at all. I'm sorry, man. I guess since I've lost everything else to you my whole life, I assumed I could lose Riley to you, too. Well, she's not a prize. Actually... And I kind of am. Probably maybe I was just jealous of how close you and Danny are. I want to be the most special guy in your life. How could you think that you weren't? Kate, okay, seriously, could you put a towel on or something? Don't worry, I'm going. To catch a plane to see the woman of my dreams. A woman who loves me as much as Riley loves you. Or at least did before this whole thing. <laughs> God, Riley, why do I keep screwing things up? Well, if I knew the answer to that, I probably wouldn't be standing in the men's shower right now. I feel like such a jerk. I wouldn't blame you if you never wanted to talk to me again. You know what? You're right. I am done talking to you. You are? Getting ready to push back. I just need to listen to this voicemail. It's from my girlfriend. We're in love. Okay, but hurry up. Danny, it's me, Georgie. I've been trying to reach you for days. I'm sorry to do this over the phone, but we need to talk before you get on the plane. I think I've made a terrible mistake. I don't think you should come to Paris. Excuse me. Flight attendant, please prepare for takeoff. What do you say we make Uncle Danny's room into an Emma room? Ooh, I know. I like that idea. Oh, did Emma get a job so she could pay rent? <laughs> Danny already paid his rent. Yeah, you know that and I know that. But Han's the new roommate I got lined up. He don't know that. <laughs> Hello, roomies. If anybody needs me, I'll be in the free bedroom. As it's empty and I'm not paying for it. I sublet my apartment. Oh, hell no! <laughs> oh, no, this is not gonna be happening. <laughs> So, what do you want to do today? 